Good morning. Today we shall see how to apply symbology in edges. We have a point shape five and two polygon shape fives. We will start with the point shape five. The first thing to do is to open the attribution table of the point shape five in order to see the field on which we will apply the symbology. In this example, we shall apply the symbology on the name field. Next, we right click, go on property, click on symbology. As you can see, we have five types of symbology. We have the first one is symbology by feature, followed by symbology by categories, symbology by quantity, symbology by charge, and lastly, symbology by multiple attributes. We will start with the first which is symbology by feature where here we simply choose a symbol and apply wait for the minute for the symbol to load okay i want a circle a type circle with a point so a type circle i, uh, I scroll down on I choose any any symbol of my choice. I will choose a circle with a point and apply. Apply. Okay. Yeah. So uh, each circle represent uh, the chief town of these regions. Let us see now how to apply symbology on the shape five region. So if I click, you want open property. We search for the fee. The fee. This is a field, and this is a field where which we apply the symbology on its name. We close. We right click, go on property, property. Automatically, we move to the next uh, type of uh, symbology, which is category. On the categories, we have uh, categorized by unique value, categorized by unique value, and other fields categorized by match to symbol in a style. So we choose the first one. It is categorized by unique value. We our our value C is a name. Yes, because we want to symbolize the name. We if you add for example Adamawa. As you can see, if I apply, you see Adamawa has uh, this uh, color and the other one has uh, this uh, same color. But I want that. I want that. Uh, the region should have different colors, so I come back on property symbology. So, sorry, let me put at the, at the right so you can so that it should, it should easily be visible. Uh, uh, properties uh, symbology category by unit. I on mark here, remove all at all at all values. You see, uh, I can now change. My colors depend on you can choose color depending on me. Choose, choose, and choose. Choose this, is this one, or I can simply go here and choose this color. Apply, go here. Uh, let's see my zero. I go and choose uh, this one. No, it's only there. Choose for example this one and apply when you apply you see how the colors are changing the uh, apply now uh, under unique values with many with many fees is there you choose we, we, we see choose our fair name but now in this case we associate them with other fees that is uh, you can associate the, the, the fee name with maybe uh, let's say the surface area you can associate it also with the the perimeter that is the length the soft the shape length we add all values you see you guys can see you see you have the name and the more we have the surface area and the length you apply it appears uh, on, the, on the table of content you have as, as you can see okay we are through with uh we are through with the symbology for that uh for that uh shape file let us see now how to apply the symbology for a protected area we also open the attribution table 
mm, so that you can see the this the fee which we want if we apply the uh, symbol which is surface area we close right click open property we're gonna on the next symbol type which is quantities on the quantities we have we have uh, we, have, we can quantify by graduated colors, we can quantify by graduated symbols, we can quantify with, graduate, with uh, proportional symbols, and lastly with dot density. So we do the first one, the first one, uh, with uh, graduated symbols. I go on, I choose surface area. I don't want to associate, so I like known number, I can put it as 7, or 5, say, to 7, to apply, 7. Now in this case, the color ham means that the highest uh, surface area will be a bit lighter as you can see and the smallest surface uh, areas will be uh, more darkened. So you can also you can, you can change the color depending on if you want. You can also reverse the process, you reverse the sorting in such a way that the highest surface area is instead more darkened and the so uh, the smallest are lighter you apply so depending on you you choose your own we apply so these are the as you can see these are the highest surface area which are lighting and these are the smallest surface area which are darkened okay we move now to the next which is graduated with symbol graduated with symbol we choose a surface area we don't want to associate you are like that this is the symbol we can change our symbol here you can change the background, you can remove the background depending on us, or you can align it there. You, you can choose our the smallest size from, let's say, let's say from 1 to, let's say, to uh, 10. You can reduce it, you apply, as you see, so, uh, the highest, the highest, uh, the largest uh, radius or circles represent the highest surface area, and the smallest circle represent the smallest surface area. Same in the similar way, you can also symbolize with a proportional symbols. Same thing, you apply surface area, the smallest, uh, the minimum value will put in the smallest surface area, and this is the maximum value will put in the highest surface area, and this is the background. Uh, apply, you see, so it's too high, you can just depend on you. By dot, you go on dot, surface area, you apply, you can intensify the dot, the maximum, you apply. You see, these are the, the highest, the highest uh, number of dots represent the highest surface area, and the, so the, the smallest dot will represent the smallest surface area. Let us move on to chart. Let us see how you can cut We can symbolize with chart. On the chart, you have the P chart, you have the bar or the column chart, and you have the stack. stack it. So we choose uh, P chart surface, we add, and this is the size you can reduce even to five five okay apply you see these are the pictures uh, on the on our on our diagram you can see bar chart with surface area you add size you can either increase or say reduce reduce we okay on the property you can either it can be horizontal or vertical let's say horizontal, let's say vertical or horizontal depending on you you apply you see, in this case, you are here, the, the longest uh, bar represents the highest uh, surface area and the shortest bar represents the smallest surface area. You go now on stakes in a similar way, also you apply, you apply, as you can see. So lastly, we see, we, we see we go on the last uh, symbology, which is a multiple attribute. Multiple attribute is simply the combination of uh, uh, of symbology by categories and symbology by with quantity so it combines the two so we, uh, we choose our fee our value fee which is a surface area we we don't want to associate we add all values we see all the surface areas ha, are already categorized with, uh, with different colors so you can you can change the color depending on you change 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 and the, uh, the one that I like, you try to change them. That should be different. This one to change, 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 change. I don't want to see too much. You change one, 
change you change and you change and you apply but before applying you also try you also uh, symbolize or categorize now the or the the surface area in terms of size so we symbol size use symbols choose value surface area where here we present the smallest surface area and this one the largest surface surface area and it's also possible to reverse the process where this one will present the right surface area and this one will present the smallest surface area we apply you can change it you can change the symbol here the background if you do not want the background you can remove it from here here we apply okay and apply as you can see it's there you have so now here we see that we have uh, first of all categorized and we have now uh, quantified the quantities quantities of the various surface area they will appear there uh, okay, that, okay 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 that comes to the end of our presentation for any worry or suggestion please kindly contact us on our page do not forget to like share and comment stay tuned for other tutorials